Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I hope everyone is doing well, insha'Allah ta'ala. In today's day and age, subhanAllah, we have a group of people who are seeking marriage and who want to seek marriage. And when the time for us to make the nikah happen, we don't proceed with the nikah. Rather, what do we proceed with? We proceed with al-fatiha. Let us read al-fatiha and somehow, you know, the relationship between the man and the woman will become halal. That is haram. In fact, if you proceed in the idea that reading al-fatiha with her family and your family with witnesses will make it halal, this is blatant zina. You are committing zina and there is no nikah whatsoever that has happened on that occasion. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he tells us and he explains why we have this idea of reciting the Quran. From the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an, in a hasan hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, كل أمر ذي بال لا يبدأ فيه بالحمد أقطع Every matter, every ceremony, every gathering that does not remember itself with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is deficient. So the idea of reading Al-Fatiha, it doesn't make it halal for you, ya akhi, ya akhti. It does not make that man halal for you. You can't walk around with him and expect that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you both. You both are committing zina. And this is a disaster that has struck so many cultures. You know, from my culture, where I come from, we have this idea of al-adat wa taqalid, right? And it's so, it's so pathetic, subhanAllah, because when you think about it, they are praising their own cultures in a way where they are leaving the culture of Allah that will ultimately make it halal. Adat and taqalid, basically, is this idea that this is the way it's done in our culture and this is what is acceptable in our culture. Meaning al-adat, our norms, what we do, and taqalid, what others compliment us on and what they follow through with. A'udhu billah. You are allowing for your culture that reads al-fatiha under the impression that it makes the marriage halal for others to follow through with it. That it is what is permissible in the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal. Wallahi, that is blatant in ya akhi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us in the Quran, in Surah Al-Nur, وَأَنْكِحُ الْأَيَامَ مِنْكُمْ And marry off, marry off the single ones, marry off al-ayama, marry off the, the, the free ones, marry them off. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us, وَأَنْكِحُ He uses the word, وَأَنْكِحُ Not وَأَقْرَأُ It does not say read and it becomes halal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَنْكِحُ Meaning, make the aqid of nikah between yourself and the one that you are intending on marrying. And then it will become halal, ya akhi. It will become halal, ya ukhti. But today, subhanAllah, we have this idea of reading al-fatiha and somehow we can go out with our significant others, we can hold hands, and then we're quote-unquote married. Wallahi, you are doing nothing but committing zina. And if your parents, if your culture propagates this type of idea, it is time for you to shut it away and it's time for you to tell them that it is only the deen of Allah, the nikah, and it is the marriage contract that will make us halal. Anything else, you toss it right out that door. Bi idnillahi subhanahu fi ala. Jazakum Allahu khair.